Today on Quick Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to make this guy, the Dancing Light Man. tools you're going to need, of course, first things first, a little bit of coffee. Second thing you're going to need is a couple of drills. Now these two drills are a driver, impact driver, and a regular drill. You can use just a regular drill, it's fine. You need a cut knife, you need a pair of wire strippers, you need a plug, of course, you need some screwdrivers. I have an awl here that I've bent over so I can guide my wire through all of my black iron pipe. Various size pliers to tighten up our black iron pipe. And this guy right here I found out really be useful. It's just a piece of black iron here and it's solid round bar. And what we do is we put that inside of our pieces to kind of tighten them up so we can get a little more torque on those. And just a pair of scissors to clean things up while we're wiring. And that's pretty much it other than the basic things that you need for one of these black iron pipe lamps. You need various pieces of black iron pipe. These can be ordered online or gotten from your local big box store. But other than that, we're good to go. Let's get this little guy started. And one of the things it's really important to keep in mind is that at some point in time you got to start threading some of this uh, wire. And you want to do that as you go because trying to get through some of these bends is dang near impossible without actually going and putting some of the wire in. Just a simple maul, that's all that is. I bent and flattened the edge of it just a little bit. What that does is that provides me a hook. And that hook will allow me to take the wire and bend it through just a bit there you go that's all there is to it one other tip that I will tell you it's probably pretty important that you use an insulate a good insulated wire this is a three wire especially since this is a metal lamp so we'll have a ground on it but this particular piece right here is it's shielded really well going through some of these sharp points through the black iron pipe so it won't mire our cord. There's our chest for our guy. One of the things we can do now is drill a hole right here and we'll mount our twist switch, which will be our on and off switch for our light. Well, now we're going to assemble his chest and shoulder area. I'm going to kind of pre-place some of these nipples on the cross. And we're going to kind of give those a, a gentle turning here in the vise, kind of get everything tightened up. What I just put in is actually a bushing. And let me show you one of these bushings over here. This is a half inch to eighth inch bushing 
This eighth inch is going to allow me to put some IPS rod, which is a standard lamp rod that's threaded, that's hollow through the center, into this hole, and then I can actually attach this piece to our lamp. That is a very short piece of IPS rod that I've got attached to this socket, and that's our socket that we're going to use. So that will feed right through there, and then we'll be able to screw it right into there. All right, so now we're at the wiring stage. Very critical. A lot of things going on here in the belly of this little beast. We've got the switch going on here. We've got a light going on up here that we need to be able to take care of. And we have a receptacle here that's got a couple of USB chargers, uh, well, USB ports on it that we want to power as well. So got to think through your electrical. You don't want to mess anything up. It's a little bit of basic wiring, but if you have any problems with wiring, this can be taken care of by your local electrician. Well, these little boxes are not actually intended to go up in here, but we're going to make them fit. This is the kind of plate that we needed. We had some ears here for standard construction. They were a little bit long. They won't actually go up in here, so we're going to fix that. All right, so we got our little ears cut off there. Now let's see if our box fits. Ooh, look at that. So pretty much he's basically done, he's wired up. Uh, we had a couple of issues, a couple of little snags. The nipples that we used here on the top and the uh, bottom of this receptacle actually stood out a little bit too proud inside the box for the receptacle to see. So we just took it apart. We cut, the, um, cut those nipples off a little bit short and put it back together and now it works just fine. So just keep that in mind when you're building one of these, um, when you put your receptacles on there to make sure that you leave enough room for that to get wired in and to uh, close up. But other than that, we'll do a couple of little finishing touches here. I'm gonna put the little, put the little hands on them, if you will. All right, folks, well, here they are. Got a set of twins here, kinda. Um, let's, uh, let's fire them up and see what they look like. There's, uh, there's the first one. And then, uh, Here's the second one, now, a couple of different things. This one actually has a twist switch built into him in the side of the box. This one has a thumb switch built into the cord. This one just has some plain rubber feet up under it. This one is a little more decorative. He's got some, uh, he's got some added wooden feet made out of the same material as the base. But it's all in what you want. You can have a lot of fun with them. And uh, as long as you got the parts laying in front of you, this took us probably about an hour and a half. 